Ratchet and Clank are back, baby. After rocketing through the PS2 and PS3 era as one of the most acclaimed platformer adventure game series, Ratchet and Clank Remastered is a fantastic look back at what started it all. In this revived version of Ratchet and Clank's first meeting, we can still see what made us fall in love with these two unlikely heroes in the first place. But now it's dressed up for the next generation PS4 console with updated audio and visuals, new planets, new spaceship scenes, and a plethora of updated and brand new guns. Crash Bandicoot, once the king of PlayStation 2 platforming, had a hard time finding solid footing in the PS2 era. Ratchet and Clank came out in 2002, winning the PlayStation 2 Game of the Year for its refreshing reinvention of the platform adventure genre. I absolutely loved playing the remake, probably even more than the original. It's been quite a while since I played a fun platformer adventure game, but this was a good jolt to the slowly fading genre. The updates definitely helped to fix some flaws from the original game. When I played the original, most of the planets fell flat. I can't even remember much of the story, and I never used half the guns because I felt like they were useless. With the addition of a few new guns, most of the guns have seen an improvement, giving the player more variety and destruction. I even got the bouncer gun by pre-ordering from GameStop, which turned out to be one of my favorite overpowered weapons in the game. Essentially, it would shoot off one big bomb which would hit something, explode for huge damage, and then split off and start tracking nearby enemies to explode again. It got pretty insane once I maxed the gun's abilities. Huge increase in tracking range, more bombs, and more bomb damage. It basically would clear an entire room of every enemy, leaving nothing behind. With guns like the Sheepinator, the Pyrocyter, and the Groovatron, what's not to like? And who could forget everybody's favorite murder bot, Mr. Zircon? Mr. Zircon is here to kill! With every trip to the next planet, there was always something new to discover. Sometimes it would be a whole new ship flying sequence, or they added a boss here and there. Let me go ahead and say that I'm a sucker for collecting things, so between side quests and hidden collectibles, I found more than enough to keep my attention. At one point, there was an in-game cutscene where Ratchet gets suited up in a brand new Space Ranger uniform. I remember thinking that the graphics were so well done and that there was very little difference between the actual gameplay and cinematic cutscenes. A few days later, I found out that the cutscene was an actual scene from the new Ratchet and Clank movie. I was astounded. Sure, there are those more realistically styled games that really stand out amongst the crowd, but Ratchet and Clank looks magnificent for an animated game. I, like I honestly had to think about what I disliked. I was about to say nothing, but then I remembered those stupid hoverboard races. The hoverboard races aren't really that bad by themselves, but there was a pretty significant glitch that made them almost unbearable. The races on the hardest difficulty were rough enough that if you messed up even a few times, you were better off forfeiting and restarting. If you forfeited and restarted within the first lap of the hardest difficulty, the next race you played, any rings you picked up during your first lap, wouldn't regenerate during the second. It made the race almost impossible to win. The only way to fix the glitch was to exit completely to the main menu and reload your save. It was a pain for sure, and it was a fairly well-known glitch on some forums, but it didn't put a damper on the game. I found myself wanting to play more once I finally finished collecting all the gold bolts, so New Game Plus was a welcome addition. I would love to see what Insomniac can do with this rebooted series, perhaps even taking it in a whole new direction, story-wise. If they just remastered some more of the original line and gave it just as much care and revamping as the first one, I wouldn't even be mad. All I'm saying is that I'm eager to get back into the series of Ratchet and Clank on the PS4, since its remastered version breathes life and creativity back to the platformers. If you like Jack and Daxter, Sly Cooper, Crash, or Spyro, you'll definitely want to pick up this game.